Hi guys, this is your sister Carrie Ann in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I just want to come to you today and touch base concerning the, uh, what you call it? The soon to be delivered COVID vaccination. <clears throat> and the world, well, the government, I should say, is looking forward to this man-made pestilence vaccine. And there's a lot of clause to this because apparently, apparently, um, Australia, I think it's Australia, one of the Australian hairlines has suggested that, you know, you won't be able to travel without the vaccination. I mean, this is not rolled out worldwide, all right? And, um, but it is significant and it is saying something because those of us like myself who will not take the vaccination, uh, if this thing is ro rolled out worldwide, saying that, look, in my parents, my families live in Jamaica and I'm in the UK, and um, you know they're saying, look, you know, you won't be you won't be able to travel at all unless you get this vaccine. That means I'm stuck in the United Kingdom now. If and when, and I pray that it doesn't come, but if and when they're ready to roll out this vaccination to travel business, and they say, look, it's going to be implemented worldwide in the next, I don't know. Said they give a time limit within three, three, four months time, you know, this is what's going to be implemented. Then one will have to make a serious dis dis decision. Will you stay in the UK forever? And that's about it. Never, ever travel again. You, you can't go. It's a serious decision, a very serious decision, but it's not rolled out worldwide but i just find that very very interesting because satan is so wicked he's so evil and that thing and um he, he does things in plain sight because he's a mocker and um he loves to mock the most high yeah but brothers and sisters apart from the hairline then you have the the healthcare professionals and some of us are children of the Most High, yeah. And some of us will not take the vaccination. What do, again, what do you do? Because if your employer is going to come to you and say, look, if you do not take this COVID man-made pestilent vaccine, I'm sorry, you cannot be a nurse, you cannot be a doctor, you cannot be a physiotherapist, a radiographer, you know, a nethethist, whatever in the healthcare field, what is it you're going to do? Because to me, <clears throat> brothers and sisters, this is all a test run for the true biblical mark of the beast. I'm not going to get into, because every time I talk about the man-made pestilent vaccine every time i talk about the covid vaccine some brothers and sisters get a little bit confused and in the comment section they're saying oh carrie Ann, the covid vaccine is the mark of the beast mm. <laughs> yeah okay so look if you think that the covid this man-made pestilence vaccine that they're ready to issue is the mark of the beast that is your truth isn't it yeah that is your truth my truth from that is different i believe that the man-made pestilence covid vaccine it is gonna have serious serious implication on the body if you take it and one of the implication that this thing will have and i've said it before way before this vaccine we're talking about this vaccine i need to find that video 
all right i've tried to find that video but i said it months and months actually i've said it a couple of years ago that there is going to be an outbreak not as severe worldwide but here and there in a few countries where people is gonna manifest in a zombie like character do you think the government is gonna come out and say oh, oopsie daisy we shouldn't have given the vaccine no they're not gonna come out and say it's, a, it's the vaccine what they will say oh well yeah another dis disease is has been broken out that's what they're gonna lie that's what they're gonna lie and say that oh we found some form of disease they might go to africa because they love going to africa and tell lies in africa they might go to africa and said oh yeah we'll find a snake or a, or, or a serpent that has bitten somebody that person gotten better and but you know it contaminated them and they acted like they're gonna spin this thing <clears throat> sorry they're gonna spin it brothers and sisters and say that it's, it's some form of disease it's not no disease it's the vaccination that they've given because these vaccines are satanic it is from the devil they need to turn off the 5g that's what they need to do because this covid thing i've said it before it is radiation poisoning our cell our cellular molecules molecules cannot handle the radiation especially the elderly and the young people of a certain age it's a biological weapon through the 5g circulated through the chemtrails so vaccine is not going to isn't the vaccine is not a cure because they <laughs> they own the cure and if they stop the chemtrailing and turn off the vaccine but they won't do that so anyways um but the vaccine it is it is not a cure they say it's a preventative measure so that you don't get the covid really it's a test run brothers and sisters this this all covid business is a wicked test run to see when the official mark of the beast comes in how the world is going to cave into this thing now i've decided i am not taking the man-made pestilence vaccine I've, I've already purpose in my heart and my children are not taking it There may be some implications in the time to come. Well, if the kids don't take it, you know, we may call social services. But the most high, yeah, the devil is a wicked, dirty liar. And yeah, is going to stand up for his people. I am not worried. I am not afraid of the schemes of Satan. This is his last minute, well, it's not his last minute ditch. But this is one of his attempts to bring fear and trembling to the world but those of us in christ hallelujah hallelujah we should not be afraid we mustn't be afraid brothers and sisters we have to stand in him because he's the one you can't this is you cannot depend on your government so say you know we've got a good government our government won't allow the vaccines because all these governments are, are, are conjuring up together to vaccinate the people. Well, if we prove that the vaccine is safe, yeah, how are you going to prove it? Giving people placebo or testing it on animals and so to speak. Brothers and sisters, this thing is serious. We're in the time of the end. But all I know is that the vaccination, this man-made pestilence COVID thing, it's not going to be it's not going to be good. There's going to be serious, serious implication. And one of the implications is the walking dead. 
all these zombie business, all these zombie movies that they've got out there. Um, you know, trying to, uh, what's the word I want to use? To de detrain your brain to accept that this is the new world that we're going into. Some serious times ahead, brothers and sisters. I wish I could say to you, you know what? Yeah, everything, the world is going to go back to normal. We're going to be... F no. I, 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 I cannot see it, brothers and sisters. This is why the second exodus is coming up. Because Yah has got to move his people out. He's got to move the wise virgins out. He's got to move the promise to the hebrew israelites out of this chaos that's coming the worldwide the worldwide second exodus that's our only joy hope and peace that we can temporarily look forward to before the rapture before the coming of the of our lord before the return of jesus christ of nazareth so all these false prophets because they will they will if they can lie about donald trump and all that these false prophets i'm telling you brothers and sisters because they've got the lying spirit isn't it they're gonna be all over the place in the pulpit on tbn cn when they, wherever they're gonna be and um, all these christian news channel and they're going to encourage you to take the vaccine. They will. But let me tell you something. Any false prophets out there who encourage you, any of these mega preachers who say to you, oh, the vaccine is okay, go ahead and... Don't follow them. Don't follow them, brothers and sisters. They're working for the... the, the, the uh, they're working for darkness. They're working for the kingdom of darkness. Any one of them false prophets say to you that the vaccine is okay to take. You know that they're of a kingdom of darkness and you run away. You run away. So it's very interesting. There are going to be some claws coming with the vaccination. Okay. Um, so people will have to make a decision. And people will have to make up their minds what they're going to do. But in my heart and in my spirit, you know, this is just me. But I, I know it's going to happen anyway. You know, you cannot pray with pray against certain things. But it's going to come. They have it there, and pray that the, you know that this vaccine thing that when they do give it to the people, that the Lord will just have mercy. You know, that the effect of it will not be so dramatic. But I believe some people will be affected by it. Some people will take it and they will be made and maybe okay. I don't know. But I know that some people, cellular molecules, the DNA, uh, will be altered. Will it be altered? Will it be altered permanently or temporarily? I think it's going to be temporarily because, it, again, if it's, it's, I don't want to get that mixed up, but the only thing that can alter your DNA permanently, permanently, which means you have no way of turning back, is the mark of the beast. Is the mark of the beast. That's the only thing that can permanently derail and alter your DNA into Satan. So once that happens, that's it. You're done for. You're not fit for glory. You're not fit for the kingdom of heaven. You are going to hell. That's it. The COVID vaccination. You know, like I said, some people said it's the mark of the beast. I will keep my reservation. That is your truth. Um, I have my truth concerning the mark of the beast. Either way. I'm not taking no vaccination and definitely not the mark of the beast when it rolls out. Because um, you see, the mark of the beast, 
the mark of the beast is going to officially roll out when the antichrist is in power and he's not in power yet so this is why i'm trying to explain what the covid the covid is wicked the covid vaccine is very wicked you know and it is a foreshadow it's a test run to the mark of the beast so like i said the antichrist has to be in power for that thing to become mandatory and with the mark of the beast it is linked with the economy because it says no man will be able to buy and sell. When you get the COVID vaccine, um, you're still going to use money. You're still going to use a dollar. You're still going to use a penny. But, you know, with the mark of the beast, it's linked with the economy. So they're going to crash the economy. Crash it. Crash it. And when they crash it, no more money. No more paper money. No more coins nothing like that no more bank cards no more telephone no more mobile phone to buy stuff it's going to be literally in you that's it that that is your money the money every transaction is going to be on your body ping with your hands the right hand rather so, but I know, you know, I know many people say that the COVID vaccine is the mark of the beast. That's your truth. I'm not going to fight you down for that. That's, you know, that is your thing. But either way, I wouldn't, you know, I'm not taking the COVID vaccine. I'm not, that, that thing ain't going into me at all. All right. So be on your guards, brothers and sisters. This thing is coming. It's going to be very, very wicked. Okay keep close to the messiah keep close to christ because he's the only one that's going to protect you not your government your governments are all for this they're all for vaccination and all of that but there's going to be a massive epidemic of walking deads walkers zombies zombie-like character hallelujah oh my lord have mercy, Lord, on your people. So be bold, be strong, be courageous. Walk with Yah, just like Enoch. All praises, all beautiful praises to the Most High Yah, who lives above the heavens. Yah, eternally bless you. I love you all, and I will see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus Christ's precious holy name. Amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen.